We're here at the original whistle stop in Pasadena, California, where Keith Turley is going to demonstrate how to disassemble the Walther's passenger cars. Well, a regular Walther's car is fairly straightforward, but it's not for the faint of heart because uh, you pretty much just start twisting it. And I know this looks funny, but you're really not going to damage the car. You twist it, keep twisting it back and forth, sometimes several times to get the roof to pop loose like this one has done and you just start working it up sometimes you have to reach in through this way with a small screwdriver and pop the tabs from the other side or you can continue to work it a little bit until it pops loose and this is how you get into a Walters car now you're not going to break anything on these and even if you do there's nothing to worry about because like, you can glue these back together the most important thing are the roof tabs you need every one of them and you need them to be straight like this one right here broke just a little bit you pull it back into place dab it with some glue let it sit overnight uh, when you dab it with uh, either testers or Tamiya cement you pull them back let them set and harden overnight and they'll be right back into position where they're supposed to be and uh, that's the important thing as long as you have those the whole car will go back together and this holds true for any Walther's car uh, all the lightweight cars do this the heavyweight cars do the same thing sometimes the round end observations are a little harder and sometimes what you have to do is take out the screws and take off the trucks to give the body a little more flexibility but it's the same thing. You just kind of keep working it and twisting it until they pop loose. And it's going to creak and crack and make a lot of noise. And sometimes uh, you think you're breaking things. But these cars are all tabbed together. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Like I say, the roof is the important thing. Like here, I've got one, oh, a couple of them here that are broken. And I'll take and put glue on those, let them sit overnight, and it'll snap back together. So how do you fix a tab? Well, take a little glue, preferably the testers, and you kind of dab it in there, like so. Be taking care not to get any on the outside of the roof. And push it back into position, and it will soften the plastic a little bit, getting it about where you want. Sometimes you have to sight down the, all the tabs to make sure they're back into position, like this one is out. I'll put a little glue on that and we'll pull it back into position and I'll let this sit overnight and that way it welds it back together it makes them very strong if you don't do this the roof will never sit properly on the car you have to do this and that's how you get inside to detail the interiors or to put people in them